Hello, today we're going to be going over a direct TV residential training. Um, you're going to, this training is presented by Peter Berry. You can reach me at my email at peterberrytraining at yahoo.com. I want to start off by just going over a couple of policies and procedures you're going to have to make sure to follow here. Uh, number one, we cannot sell anyone that has an existing AT&T television service direct TV. So what I mean by that is if somebody has AT&T U-verse for TV, you cannot sell them direct TV. Uh, second thing is we want to make sure that we're focusing on both quality as well as quantity here. Uh, it's very important that you're focusing on those middle to middle higher income areas. Lower income areas are going to result in less approvals as well as higher chargeback percentage. And then finally, any manipulation of data, meaning addresses, um, names, phone numbers, uh, anything of that nature, credit cards, uh, will result in termination. So just make sure you're doing straight up business and you're not going to have an issue. Let's take a second here and let's download what's called the KR Sales app. Um, you're going to be able to find this in your market or app store, whether you're using an Android or an iMarket uh, platform that can be downloaded to your phone or tablet. Okay. What you're going to find is this app is going to allow you to navigate your way through the company. What I mean by that is you can click on DirecTV Residential. It'll give you the current cheat sheet, sales guides, things of that nature. Uh, you're also going to find there's multiple um, emails that you're able to utilize through there, as well as other different tools that are available on that platform. Definitely a great, great app to be able to utilize for yourself. So make sure you have that downloaded again, KR Sales app. All right, so let's get into what we're actually going to go over, and uh, we'll talk about the meat of what this training is going to be about. We're going to start off by talking about the equipment that we can offer to our customers. We're going to go over the features and benefits of that equipment. We're going to go over the packages, pricing, qualifying questions, presentation, and then we'll end off in closing. So for starters, we are going to start off by talking about DirecTV's Genie. Um, for those of you that are not familiar, DirecTV's Genie is going to be DirecTV's version of our DVR service. This is all also going to be the way our customer is going to receive their on-demand features, smart TV options, things of that nature. So let's talk about the two different types of Genies that we have to offer. We're going to start off with our wired Genie system. Now, the way that this system is going to operate is your customer is going to have their satellite set up, okay? Now, keep in mind your satellite can be on the roof, it can be on the side of the house, it can be on a pole, as long as your customer has a clear line of sight to the southwest sky. Now, in our wired scenario, what's going to happen is they're going to have their satellite set up. From their satellite, there will be one line that will run off that satellite to your customer's splitter or switch. A splitter or switch is where your customer has the ability to have lines. Their coaxial cable will be separated to every room in their house. So the way that the wired scenario will work is that one line will come off the satellite to your customer's splitter. From there, there will be one line that will run uh, there will be run li one line that will run from the satellite to the and there will be a coaxial cable running to every room in your customer's house. Okay, this will be a standard install and this will also be a free equipment, free install. Now, the difference here on the wireless is going to be again, your customer will have one line that runs from their satellite but that is actually going to go directly to the genie box itself. Okay. From there, your mini genies will become wireless. What I mean by wireless is they will no longer need the use of the coaxial cable. Okay. They will, however, still need a power source and an HDMI or an RCA cable to connect the television, but they're not actually going to need that coaxial cable itself. Let's talk about how this can be beneficial to a customer. Maybe your customer has a new built house and they don't want to have cable lines running through every room. It would be much more beneficial for them to go with the wireless. 
Uh, maybe your customer has a room that's only used seasonally. So instead of having it set up for the whole uh, set of hardwired in there, it'd be better for them to go wireless. Or maybe your customer has more than four TVs in their house, but they only use up to four TVs at once. If they're only using up to four TVs at once, you could go wireless and they can move those minis around the house to utilize televisions and other rooms. Regardless of what the reason for your customer wanting to go wireless, this will be a one-time fee of $99 to upgrade to the wireless system. It's not going to affect your customer's monthly fee. It's just a one-time fee that must be paid at the time of the order being built. So make sure that when you process this order, your customer understands that we will be processing that $99 wireless fee at the time that you are putting that order into the system. All right, so let's get into the features and benefits and really show the value of what we're gonna be able to offer to our customer with our Genie system. Now, mind you, they are going to get all of these features, whether this is the wired or the wireless system. So they can record five shows at once with 800 hours of recording time, okay? What we're gonna see is a lot of our customers that we're gonna be dealing with, especially when it comes to our cable customers, is I, even though our average customer has four TVs in their house, your average customer is only gonna have one, maybe two DVRs if they're with cable. So what that means is they generally are running into conflicts where they wanna be able to roar, record either more shows or they wanna be able to record in multiple rooms. So again, with our Genie, they're gonna have the ability to record five shows at once with 800 hours of recording time and have that ability to share that on up to four rooms in their home. Second feature we're gonna to touch on is DirecTV Cinema. Now, keep in mind, DirecTV Cinema will require high-speed internet. So as long as they have any form of high-speed internet, they're gonna then get access to over 10,000 movies and shows at no extra charge. They can go back for months, days, years, and watch shows that they missed. They are gonna have access to new releases faster than anyone else, and they're also gonna have access to some movies while they're still playing in the theaters. So this is giving our customer an incredible amount of value. This would be considered our on-demand feature, but is going to give them a ton load more content than what they're used to receiving with their cable company. Uh, this is also in many cases uh, availability for our customer to get rid of, rid of things like Netflix and things of that nature because they are getting access to over 10,000 movies and shows at no extra charge. Third thing I want to talk about is high definition. So I'm sure we all know what high definition is and for many of us it's just simple as it's better picture quality. But there definitely is a science behind that. Now, there are multiple levels of high definition. There is 480, 720, 1080, and now 4K. What this means is your TV is made up of either 480, 720, 1080, or 4,000 lines of pixels to make up your screen. Now, what a lot of people do not realize is that with cable, they are only broadcasting in high definition at 1080 on their local channels. When you go to the high definition channels with cable, they're broadcasting a 480 or 720 signal. As with DirecTV, is going to broadcast on a true 1080p high definition signal on all of your high definition channels. And we are also 4K ready. Uh, we do have a few 4K channels already, but ultimately meaning that our equipment is ready to carry a 4K signal. Final feature I want to discuss here is going to be our smart TV options. Um, this, right along with our on-demand feature, uh, will require any form of high-speed internet. But as long as my customer has any form of high-speed internet, they are now going to get smart TV options in every room in their house. What I mean by that is they'll have full access to Pandora radio, uh, live weather apps, horoscope apps. A game mix option where they can put in their favorite sports team and track their stats and standings. As you can see displayed here, it comes with a smart search option 
where you can put in virtually anything, your favorite actor, athlete, actress, movie, show. It's going to give you the filmographies, biographies, and letting you know about upcoming events. So what this is, again, ultimately doing is giving you smart TV options in every room of your customer's home. Probably the coolest thing to me about this is you don't even have to have a high definition TV to do this. You can have an old analog television and you're hooking every TV in your house up to the internet. This is adding a lot of value. All right, so let's take a look at the different packages that we're gonna be able to offer with these services. We have six different packages that we can offer. We have the select, the entertainment, choice, the extra, ultimate, and the premiere. Now, out of these six packages, there are going to be three that we will tend to stay away from. The three that we're going to tend to stay away from is, for starters, the Premier. The Premier is the most uncommon package we sell because it is everything. It has stars, Cinemax, Showtime, HBO, all the sports channels. Your average customer just does not need that much TV. The second and third packages that we're going to tend to stay away from are going to be the select and the entertainment. Now the only reason that we are going to stay away from the select and the entertainment is these packages are not going to include your regional sport networks. So regional sport networks. This is extremely, extremely important. I need everyone to take a second for me and I need you to go into your phones or your computers and I need you to type in regional sports on direct TV under a Google search. So under a Google search, you're going to put in regional sports on direct TV. What's going to happen is that is going to direct you over to direct TV's website where it's going to ask you to put in your zip code where you're going to be selling services. That is going to auto populate and it is going to let you know what regional sports are available in your market. In addition to that, there is a $7 fee for the regional sport networks. So as you can see displayed here, if my customer is in the choice package or higher, they are going to pay $7 per month on top of their base price of their package. It is not optional. But again, that's the only true reason we stay away from those packages. Because at the end of the day, it makes no difference to you what package your customer selects. Whether they get six TVs in the Premier or one TV in the Select, your base of your commission remains the same. You are paid on bringing in a new customer. So let's take a look at the packages here. We're going to start off with the Select package. I did not go ahead and put every single package on, or every single channel on here. Um, but when you do look at your sales guide, you will see there obviously are additional channels besides here. This does show you that the select package is going to come with over 150 channels. This does include all of your locals. So in every market, your customer is going to have their locals included on every package. But I want to take a look here on, in my opinion, the more popular channels that my customer is going to receive in the select. And then keep in mind that this is going to be intended for someone who really only likes a select few things. So for starters, we've got A&E, AMC, Animal Planet, Baby First, Baby TV, BBC America, BET, Bloomer, Bloomberg, Bravo, Cartoon Network, Cine 4K, CMT, CNBC, CNN, Comedy Central, Discovery, Disney Channel, Disney Junior, Disney XD, DTV 4K, E, Food Network, Fox Business, Fox News, FX, FXX, Hallmark Channel, Hallmark Movies, History, HLN, Investigation Discovery, Lifetime, Live 4K, MSNBC, MTV, MTV2, National Geographic, Nick Jr., Nickelodeon, Ovation, Reels Channel, Spike, Sci-Fi, Teen Nick, TNT, True TV, TV Land, USA, VH1, and Weather Nation. 
Just want to go out and go ahead and point out a couple of things in this package. Number one, we do see that we do have three 4K channels available, which are Cine 4K, DirecTV 4K, and Live 4K. The other thing you're going to notice is there's not one single sports channel in this entire package, but it is giving you your basic stuff. It has your kids' channels, your news channels, your local channels. Moving on now to our entertainment package, you're going to see here that there are five channels that you are going to receive in the entertainment package that you are not receiving in the select. That's going to be DirecTV HD Sports Mix. So DirecTV HD Sports Mix splits up your screen and will break down and have eight different sports going on. Your customer can go ahead and click on the icon there and it bring them right to that channel. That also accompanies ESPN, ESPN2, Fox Sports 1, and NBC Sports Network. But again, that is going to be everything that we just discussed from the select as well as these five channels to make up your entertainment. Next package here is shown as the most popular. Uh, the most popular package is going to be our choice package. Choice package is going to give our customer over 185 channels, includes all their locals. Does show here, as mentioned before, this is the lowest package your customer is going to be able to get if they want their regional sport networks. And that does again show it's going to be $7 additional per month. This package is going to include everything that we went over from the entertainment as well as select, as well as awe. BTN, which is Big Ten Network, CNBC World, Comedy TV, Cooking Channel, ESPN News, ESPNU, Fuse, Fusion, Game Show Network, Independent Film Channel, ION, Justice Central, Major League Baseball Network, <clears throat> NFL Network, Nicktoons, own, Pop, Science Channel, SEC Network, Sundance TV, Tennis Channel, Travel Channel, TV One, The Weather Channel, and WGN America. Again, this is going to be the most popular package that we're going to sell. I want to mention something on this. One thing you're going to notice is that you cannot just base your package selection for your customer on if they're a sports fan or not. Because you see things in this package that a lot of people are going to watch, even if they're not sports fan, they're still going to be very important to them. So the long and the short here is to make sure that you're asking your customer the correct qualifying questions to figure out what package makes the most sense for your customer. Next package here is going to be our extra package shown. It's going to give you over 230 channels, includes all of your locals. Regional sports are going to be $7 per month and additional. This is going to include everything that we have discussed between the select, the entertainment, and the choice, as well as American Heroes, Aspire, BBC World News, CBS Sports Network, Destination America, Discovery Family Channel, Discovery Life, Do It Yourself Network, FM, Fox Sports 2, FX Movie Channel, For Your Information, Golf Channel, Great American Country, Lifetime Movie Network, MTV Classic, National Geographic Wild, NBA TV, NHL Network, Olympic Channel, Ovation, Revolt, Sportsman's Channel, TVG, and Universal Kids, which is formerly Sprout. Okay, so as this does mention here, this is a lot more for a short amount of money, okay? Again, going back to make sure you're asking your customer the correct qualifying questions to figure out what package makes the most sense for them. Final package that we are going to discuss here is going to be our ultimate package. You're going to see that is going to give the customer over 245 channels, includes all their locals. 
Regional sport fee is going to be $7 per month. This package is going to include everything from the select, entertainment, choice, extra, as well as Boomerang TV, Chiller, El Rey, the movie channels, East and West. Then you're also going to receive all of the Encore channels, which are Encore, Encore West, Encore Action, Encore Black, Encore Classic, Encore Family, Encore Westerns, Encore Suspense, as well as Univision Deportes Network. So, what you're going to see when you look at your sales guide is everything is going to be highlighted. Okay, so whatever you see in bold print from one package to the next is what you're not receiving in the previous package. So anything that you see in bold print in the ultimate is what you're not receiving in the extra. Anything you see in bold print in the extra is what you're not receiving in the choice. Anything in bold print in the choice is what you're not receiving in the entertainment. And then finally, anything in the, in the bold print in the entertainment is what you're not receiving in select. Once again, make sure that you're asking your customer the right qualifying questions, that they're getting all the channels that they have currently and they want moving forward. Next up here, I wanna talk about a few things that may come up that will be considered one-ups, but I want you to be prepared for them. So there are three what would be called a la carte things that you can add to any package. So you're gonna have the HD Extra Pack, dog TV and the outdoor channel so for starters we have the HD extra pack the HD extra pack is going to give your customer nine additional channels for five dollars per month okay that's going to give them the Hallmark movies and mysteries channel Sony movies uh, crime and crime and discovery HD net movies Universal Palladia MGM Smithsonian and shorts for an additional $5 per month, can again be added to any package. Next up, we have dog TV, and yes, I am serious when I tell you we have TV for dogs. $5 per month can be added to any package, and it truly is intended for dogs. This is dog TV. Feel free to go ahead and check that out. Um, this is intended for people to have on while they are either not home to keep their animal busy But there's a lot of really cool stuff that keeps their dog active while they're away Five dollars per month any package Finally for our outdoors people hunters fishermen things of that nature We do have the outdoor channel that can be added to any package for three dollars and fifty cents per month The outdoor channel is going to be your hunting fishing outdoorsman's type channel all right so I want to get in now is to pricing our customer now what you're gonna find on the KR sales app that hopefully you have all downloaded by this point is that we'll have the cheat sheet that is going to show you all of this All right, so hooray, it's time for a giveaway, okay? Uh, right now, we do have free Star Cinemax Showtime and HBO available. Um, that is generally an offer that's consistent. Um, you want to make sure that you're, you're looking on your KR sales app to see what incentives are available, whether it may be the NFL Sunday ticket, whether it may be a Visa gift card. You want to make sure that you're up to date on those current promotions. All right, so now we've gone into the type of equipment that we can offer our customers. We've talked about the features and benefits and built up the value. Um, now what I wanna do is go a little bit into how we're gonna break this down to our customers. So there are three phases to a sale. We have our introduction, our presentation, and we have our close. So number one, when it comes to our introduction, you wanna make sure that you address the part. 
It is so important that you look professional when you're out there in the field because you have a very short window to make a first impression. For those of you that are doing door-to-door -door marketing, keep in mind that your first impression is as you're walking down that walking down that uh, driveway coming up to knock on their door. So before they even meet you, they've already formed an opinion. It's definitely going to be important to ask the correct qualifying questions. I know I'm pounding this in the training, but this is very important, okay? Now, when it comes to the presentation, you wanna be able to break down your presentation so that you allow yourself to make multiple attempts at a close. Um, so many times people fall victim to what I call unloading your arsenal, where you just tell a customer every single thing you know about a service and you ask for the sale. I'm gonna go over how to break that down for you. Also, make sure that you have the knowledge of this product. Make sure that you watch this training a few times. Make sure you do some additional research on your own so when they have questions on overcoming objections or you know, thing, you know, things that you may or may not know the answer, you can answer everything competently. Finally, when it comes to the close, this is mostly gonna come down to asking for the sale, assuming the customer wants the service and explaining how easy the transition will be. Again, you have to ask for that sale. And it is very infrequent that a customer is just gonna say, yep, I want it, what do I have to do to get set up? You have to ask for that sale. So let's talk about some qualifying questions. And mind you, there's going to be situations where you're asking a customer a lot more questions than this. But this is at a bare minimum what you need to know to be able to give your customer a proper quote. First thing you need to know is who their current provider is. You know, do they have uh, Spectrum Communications? Do they have uh, AT&T U-verse? Do they have Dish Network? Do they have nothing at all? Do they have Direct TV? Number two, do you bundle? Okay, um, I need to know if my customer has phone, internet, what services they have. Now, nowadays, a question I'm probably gonna ask if they tell me they have a home phone is if you use the home phone. You're gonna find minimum 50% of customers that have a home phone nowadays don't even use it. They have it because it's part of the bundle. If I'm able to drop that home phone off of that platform, I'm sure I can save them more money. Number three, how many TVs do you have? So I need to know how many box fees I'm gonna to have to add on to this monthly bill. And then finally, I need to know what they like to watch. What are your viewing habits? I'm always gonna ask my customer if they are a sports fan. If my customer tells me they are a sports fan, I am eliminating the select and the entertainment packages. But again, make sure you're giving them what they have now, plus a little extra, but saving them as much money as you can at the same time. So again, there are going to be other questions on top of this that you may ask your customers. You want to make sure your customer feels comfortable. And part of the way to make our customer feel comfortable is to just have a conversation with them. Okay, so you don't want to necessarily stick to a script when you're out there. Go out and just have a conversation. But these are the four things that you need to know. Now, once I've asked those qualifying questions, my next thing is to get in that house. All right, I guarantee you, if you are able to get yourself inside of the house, you are going to increase your sales percentage remarkably. And that is, again, as simple as asking. You go through those qualifying questions and you tell your customer, well, it looks like I'm going to be able to save you money and get you a little more value here. How about I step in and show you what I have to have to offer you? Ask to get inside that house. I've seen other people say, hey, you know, do you have your bill? What are you paying a month? A lot of times nowadays, people are doing auto bill pay. They don't have that paper bill. So then they're going to say, well, why don't you step in? It's on my, it's on my computer. So another, you know, another thing is just, you know, if somebody asks you, hey, how you doing? You know, say, hey, I'm freezing or I'm whatever. Whatever you can do to try to get in that house, that's going to increase your volume of sales. All right, so I've broken this down to three steps to make a sale, okay? Three steps when it comes to my presentation. And I want to explain why. So... Few years ago, I was out and I was knocking on doors. And 
You know, my attitude was great. My activity was where it needed to be, and I could not make a sale to save my life. I have access to a system that more or less allows me to track all the activity that would come through, and I could see, okay, this individual I just trained yesterday, they got a sale. This individual I trained three days ago, they got two sales. Now, I know there's no way that they know more than me just based on the fact that I've been doing this for six years and they've been doing it for six minutes. What I realized is that in a sense, I knew too much. And what I was doing is what I mentioned before, something called unloading your arsenal. I was basically letting a customer know every single thing I knew about direct TV. I would give them their retail price immediately followed by the promotional price and any promotion that I might have had in addition to that. And I would ask for the sale. My customer would come back to me and they may say, yeah, you know, it sounds pretty good. I'm just not sure. I'm on the fence on it. Well, at that point, I was pretty much done because I had already unloaded everything. I didn't have anything more to give. So what I did is I came up with this three steps, which I think will assist you in that. Step one, give your customer basic information with a retail price and close your sale. So an example of that may be, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to recommend the select package for you. Uh, based on the fact that you're not a sports fan, this is going to give you everything that you want right now, plus some things you're not getting. Now, you are going to have the ability to record, rewind, fast forward, and pause on, on, all, on both of your rooms. And we're going to be able to do all of that for you for only $92 a month. How's that sound? It's going to be real simple. I grab some information from you and get you in the system. We'll get you all set up. Okay? My customer hears $92 a month. I get to record in all my rooms. Um, it's all the channels I was getting before. Yeah, you know what? I think that makes sense. Let's go ahead and do it. Well, at that point, I'm going to go ahead and grab that customer's information and I'm going to process that order. Now, what's going to happen is that call center is going to contact my customer back and they're going to verify their information and they're going to let my customer know that it's going to be $54 a month for their first year. My customer is not mad at me when they find out that it's less than I quoted, okay? But now let's assume my customer comes back to me and they say, well, you know what, Pete? That's right around the price that I'm paying right now. I just really don't see the point in changing. My second step is gonna really be now at this point to go in the features and the benefits of my Genie system and really a DirecTV as a whole I'm just going to stay at that full retail price, but I'm going to try to close them again. While Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I can appreciate what you're saying. And, you know, I did mention that you're going to be able to record in every room, but there are a few things that I did not mention. Number one, you're actually going to be able to record five shows at once with 800 hours of recording time, and you're going to have that shared in up to three rooms in your house. Uh, we're also going to give a direct TV cinema, which is going to give you access to over 10,000 movies and shows at no extra charge. There's a library list of movies you can download and access for free at any time. Go back and watch all the shows you missed throughout the days, weeks, months, and years. Well, I also noticed that both of these televisions are high definition. Well, you're going to love direct TV because we're going to give you a true 1080p high definition signal in every room in your house. And just to top it off, we're also going to give you smart TV options in every room, which are going to give you full access to Pandora radio, live weather apps, horoscope apps, game mix options, smart searches. And like I said, we're giving you all that, and it's only going to be $92 a month. So even if you mentioned to me that you're around that now, look at how much more I'm giving you. Uh, so obviously for me, in my opinion, it makes sense. But what do you think? Should we go ahead and grab your information and get you in the system? Maybe again, my customer comes back at me and they say, hey, you know what, 92 bucks. I see it, you know what, it's just, right now, it's just not a good time, okay? I understand, Mr. and Mrs. Customer. Step three is to recap the features and benefits. Once again, rebuild that value, then you drop that promo and close your customer. So what my goal is to do at this point is to get my customer to admit to me that what I'm giving them is a better value. And I'll say something along the lines of, well, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, 
Are we at terms with the fact that I am getting you a better value with better picture quality, better sound quality, better DVR capability, better on-demand features, things of that nature? And I'll pause and try to get them to admit to me that I'm giving them more value. And I'll say, okay. So then the only thing that's really holding you back from doing this today is economics. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. If you sign up with me today, I'll have you at $54 a month for the first year. Now, obviously, this makes sense to you. Let's just grab some information, and we're going to get you in the system. All right. So the important thing here is that, number one, this is going to give you three opportunities to make the sale. Number two, it's going to allow you to know how much information to give your customer before you ask for the sale. Because you have to keep in mind the customers really only care about three things. My customer cares that they're getting the channels they were getting before. My customer cares that they're going to be able to record their shows that they were able to record before. And then number three, how much money is this going to cost me? All right, so the thing of it is that can come out in that first step. So for an example, let's say I just told my customer, okay, we're going to be able to get you set up. 145 channels includes all your locals, DVR in both rooms. It's going to be 92 a month. If my customer then comes back to me and says, yeah, well, I'll tell you, is there anything better you can do on the price? I might just come right back and say, yeah, it'd be 54 for the first year and close that sale. Because maybe that's all they care about, right? But part of your job as a sales representative is to identify what your customer's buying points are. What is your customer's hot button? What is the reason that your customer is going to sign up for this service? I bet you you can find it within those steps. All right, so let's go over the information that we're going to have to go ahead and get from my customer when it comes to processing this order. So we are going to need my customer's first and last name, phone number, email address, physical address where they want to get service, city, state, and zip code where they want to get service, social security number, debit or credit card for the auto pay, as well as the number of TVs in the package that they want. All right, at that point, you're going to go ahead and you're going to process this order to www.entersales.net. At that point, the call center will verify that information and call your customer for scheduling. I definitely would um, recommend watching additional trainings here. Again, uh, my email is peterberrytraining at yahoo.com. If there are any additional questions, feel free to let me know. I appreciate you and appreciate your time. Have a wonderful afternoon.